Visco. Hi everyone, welcome back to Visco channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an NPR camera to high connected mode for cloud management. The camera model that we are using is DS Dash TCG four zero six. Okay, so uh, before that, we need to activate the camera and also set activation password for it. Then set IP address for it. Then we'll be able to detect it on SADP and we can use this IP address to access to the camera web. So the uh, username is admin by default, then password will be the activation password that we set just now. Okay, once we are here, we go to quick configuration. Okay, this is like a wizard to bring us to go through all the settings that we need to do. First, we have application mode. So this one, we can just use license plate recognition system. So we go next. Okay, under basic parameters, we have scene mode. We will just use normal entrance. And for the trigger type, we can use video detection. So we do not need to use trigger radar. And then for country and region, if you are living in Malaysia, you want to use Asia Pacific and Malaysia. If Malaysia option or Asia Pacific option is not available, uh, feel free to contact us. We will guide you to get the relative firmware. For trigger direction, you can just use all by default. Then we go next. Okay, so this is the part where we set the trigger line and also the recognition area. So the rec recognition area means when the vehicle uh, is within the recognition area, then uh, the vehicle will be detected. And when the vehicle is crossing the trigger line, the camera will capture the couplet. All right, so usually the trigger line will set one third of the view and recognition area will be the area where vehicle will arrive at. So on a, our left side uh, are just the video parameter and supplement light parameters. Uh, all this we can leave it as default, then we go next. Okay, so under allow list and block list, we have the barrier gate control. So we have control mode here by platform or by camera. By platform means the camera will Sorry, the barrier gate open will be controlled by platform, which is the software. Camera means um, if the carpet is available on camera, then camera can can control whether to open the barrier gate or not. In this case, we are using by camera because later on when we add carpet on high connecting mode, the carpet info will be pushed to camera. So later on, we will be able to find couplet under our allow list. So for barrier open uh, condition, usually we will just set a registered vehicle. That means when the camera is detecting registered vehicle, then only the barrier will open. All right, then we go next. Okay, uh, these are just the image setting and the text overlay setting. Feel free to do settings here, but I'm not going to do it now. So I just save. Okay, so now my settings are safe. This is super good and super easy. We do not need to find here and there to do the settings. Everything we just follow the set step by step. Then all the settings are done now. So now we want to make this camera online. So we go to configuration. We go to data connection under network here. Then we go to high connect platform. Okay, so by default, it will be untaped. It will be disabled. So when we enable it, we want to make sure the status is, sorry, the status is online. And the binding status usually is unbound because now the this camera is added to my high connected mode. So is the status is bound. All right, then save. Okay, so on camera part is done. So now we can move to high connect team. Okay, now I'm on high connect login page. So at here we can log into our high connect account. And at here, make sure we're using high connect team mode. Then we can go to device, add device, manually add device. 
here we need to key in the serial number of the device. We can check here. On the device name, we can put the name that we want. Verification code, we can check on the camera's web also. Data connection here, PTY8NF2Z. This is the username and password for the camera. Okay, add. Okay, the camera is added, so the status should be on now. Then we select this camera, set it as an NPR camera. Okay. Okay, next we go to NPR. Then under here, we go to list management. Then we can add one new list. Then we can name the list. Okay, so we can set this list as allow list or block list. Usually, we will want to set it as allow list. Then we select the camera. Also, can select the color if we want. Add. So if we go to the list, under the list, we can add a couplet. We go to new. So here, we key in the couplet validity period by default will be two years. Owner name is optional phone is also optional add so now uh, on my high connect team i've registered a couplet so let's check the cameras web so if we go to allow list we can see that the couplet is also registered here so that means if we create couplet on high connect team mode it will automatically sync to our camera so I would recommend to install SD card for the camera. Okay, so now we can proceed to do testing on the camera. But before we proceed to do testing, uh, there is one setting that I missed out just now. So we go back to device, camera. Under AMPR, actually we can set the barrier gate control. So usually for relay 1, we will set it as open and relay 2, we will set it as closed. So this is a setting that we can do to Control the barrier gate. This is on high connecting mode. Okay, so now we can proceed to do testing on the camera. First, I arm it. Then I use uh, one picture to simulate the car plate. Then I move from up to down to simulate the car approaching the camera. So you can see uh, the camera is detecting the car plate. Correct? So we go back to high connecting mode and PR. So actually from the notification, we can see that it is able to detect the couplet. So if we go to NPR, we can find the passing vehicle report. So at here, we select the camera. Okay. Then here, we select the date, then generate. Then it will show uh, the number of vehicle access to this uh, camera 12 just now i tested a few more times so it's 12 then if i go to passing vehicle search and here we can select the camera and it's today or we want to set custom time or past three days also can then and here if you want to specifically search for the access of a car plate we can search it here and search can see that the transaction of the car is here. Okay, then we can export it. Export a picture as well. If you want to add password to this uh, report, you can add, but I'm not going to do it. It will be saved as Excel, so I export. Okay. So it will take some time. Okay, so it's done. So I can open a folder. It will be here. All right, so I can open up the Excel. So time, couplet, under which list, camera, uh, access to which camera, where you got owner name, and also the picture. We can click on it. Then we can see the image of it. All right, so I think this is about it for this video. I hope uh, this video is useful for you and have a good one. Visco.